G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Um, in this video I'll be having a sort of a play around with custom battles. I uh, know I had a comment last time about showing the campaign off and I will at a later date. I don't have a lot of time at the moment. Um, I have had a bit of a playthrough with it and it's okay. It's not bad. Um, I don't think I'm doing some parts of it correctly to be fair. So I think I've got a bit more learning to do on it. But we'll just show you a bit of custom battles for now. So when you go into custom battles, you can pick your nation, pick your year you want it. So obviously 1940 gives you the most tech. Uh, you can pick how many ships are on either side. I believe you used to only be able to design one ship yourself, but now you, if I have a battle cruiser and battleship, I can design both or yada yada yada. If anything appears yellow, it means there's no holes available and you can't use it in the year you've selected. You can make uh, there be a tech difference, so you can give yourself or the AI an advantage with the year. You can obviously, like I'm going to build a super battleship at the moment, and then I'm going to verse, uh, probably not. Here we go, the French. So this is a, basically, I'm completely outnumbered here, so we'll see how this goes. Unlock, if you click the unlock button, this will give you all holes from every nation. So we'll give that a whirl A and see what that's like. And we're going to design the ship. So you saw my last video. I'll just build a new design, I think, because... Oh, well, I'll do this. I'll just clear that. So you've got the clear button, so you can just wipe everything off your hull. Actually, I'll get rid of it, because it's still thinking I've got stuff left over. So we'll just go new design. There we go, that's better. Okay, so when you've got new design, you get your hull, as you can see here nice and easy and you can select now they have updated this so this is way better now you can actually see what the hell's going on you don't have all the if you just went back to my last video all the holes were cramped together now you do have auto designs so that's where the ai will use this hole but they'll randomly put all sorts of stuff on it and sometimes it can actually look like a, a ship from history and sometimes something very bizarre so uh you definitely can do it i did it in the last one it seemed to work quite well so Anywho, we'll uh, build this super battleship. I don't know what type we want. Now, from what I know, hull form is how easy it slips through the water, I believe. Stability is, uh, I think it increases accuracy for guns because it's just how stable the actual ship is. Floatability is uh, resistance to sinking, I think. Uh, resistance is just pure resistance for damage incoming. And speed loss due to turning is self-explanatory. And surface, vis bleh, surface visibility is basically how easily you're spotted. Now, I have found with surface visibility in the later years when you're doing this, it has absolutely no point even being there because if you're putting like big towers and whatnot on, you just see things from miles, to be honest. So um, in the early years, things can go uh, out of sight quite easily. Yeah, might as well do this ridiculous one at 130,000, I suppose. Range is only in the campaign, and I'm still trying to work that out in the campaign myself. Yeah, speed, let's just do 30 knots, I reckon. That should be all right. Bulkheads, we'll keep that maximum for more durability. We'll keep the quarter standard, because I'm a generous person when designing my ships. Again, it doesn't really matter. You could just drop that all the way down, but it doesn't seem to have that much weight anyway, so I might as well just keep it standard for the crew. Um, your so we're just coming to protection first. Armor. This is just the quality of your armor. Now, weirdly, in history, as they I suppose it makes sense really, but as technology went up, the armor went down, but the strength got a lot better. So uh, obviously, when you're in these later years, look at the difference. Like ten thousand tons. We've just saved, and we've got better armor. So that's pretty cool. And to torpedo just as it says it gives you better flow floatability resistance so i don't know if it does help a little bit against shells but it's basically just reduces torpedo damage i'm hoping they don't get too close i'm just going to go anti-torpedo too um so with your hulls this is basically again better damage resistance more or less it's giving you more uh, barriers between the seawater and your innards of your ship so I'll go a triple make it nice and powerful uh, Citadel, so again, this is just mostly to do with um, protecting engines, uh, just overall resistance, the armor strength, uh, 
uh, yes, and it also helps with flash fires. So flash fires if a fire starts and it travels down your ship, gets your magazines, I believe that's how it kind of works, and that's when you'll see turrets flying off, which is no good. Anti-flood. Uh, basically, this is how quick it pumps our water out of your ship, so that's pretty important. So I'm going to max that out just in case we do get hit by a torpedo. Bulkheads. This is, again, just to do with reducing flash fire. Uh, it also increases fire extinguishing. That's pretty good. And floatability as well. So we'll max that out. All right. Second is your tower. So this is your main tower where, obviously, most of your crew is going to be. Okay. So they've definitely changed something. So what's... As you can see, it's clipping into space, yeah? So as you can see here, it's finding one of these little blue dots. And it's clipping to it. If you hit control, you can do a lot more fine tuning, as you can see. Now this used to be, I could place this on my last designs. I could place it anywhere in this sort of area. Now it's saying I have to clip. That's annoying, because that really sort of starts limiting what we can do with our design. So we'll see how we go with that one. Uh, I'm jumping ahead here. Let's go secondary tower. So, advanced tower with funnel. Again, this is all to do with spotting and whatnot. So, we'll do that one with a with a funnel. I reckon that looks pretty sweet. Funnels. Uh, now, this is to do with your funnel capacity, but it also is how much smoke interference you're going to get, which affects your own gunnery, as far as I'm aware, and also how easily you're seeing. But again, as I found out in these later years, that doesn't seem to matter too much. Um, let's go, that weighs a little bit less. What's two of them like? I want to do two of them. Now, your engine efficiency is pretty important. So it uh, basically is your acceleration and your torque at high RPM. So I don't know if that can damage your engine at all if you're sort of minus at that point. I'm not entirely sure. And, of course, your operational range is affected. But we can increase that with your oil so you can see here funnel capacity increases so I'll max that one out boilers so induced so, all right 100% there you go so now already way better the uh, actual engine itself you've got quite a few different ones you can pick here so I think gas turbine is new I reckon because that wasn't there last time I swear so that seems pretty sweet so let's pop that on Man, engine cost in campaign would be in oh shit, we're at uh, 400 million, holy moly. Well, this thing better not sink, and, and my engine efficiency's gone down. Oof. Oh, because it doesn't have boilers, they've actually done an update now. Ah, well that's actually pretty sweet. So before they actually had boilers, which didn't make any sense, so that's pretty cool. So I don't think I'm going to, I'm just going to have to go... Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to go... Yeah, I'll stick with that one. Right, that's fine. Let's save. Let's save it's like 100 million. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Well, that's going to be an expensive upgrade in the campaign. Holy hell. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. Well, we won't do that one then. That's insane. So cool. So we're starting to get the basis of a ship. So that's pretty good. And we've got our funnels on there. So that's pretty nice. And engine efficiency is still dropped. Oh, because it's gone back to natural. That's right. There we go. Cool. Uh, your auxiliary engine is basically to power the ship along if your main engine gets damaged. And I think it also helps with repair. It does on all modules somehow. It also helps with that. I'm not sure how that matters. Uh, shaft is basically just helps with acceleration and your turning rate so sweet this is a new as well the steam steering so this is actually how your rudder shift speed is in your turning rate so it does increase your weight a little bit and oh, the electric actually affects your turret speed okay so that's something to take into consideration hmm but that one doesn't oh that's an electric hydro ah, okay how much does that cost more 
much that way. Do that one, that doesn't seem to weigh too much more. Cool, alright, so can't do bar bets yet because we actually haven't got any turrets, so that's something we better get onto. So as you can see here, you can go from your main guns 9 to 20, and then your secondaries is from like 2 to 8. So uh, obviously something like a 9 inch is going to look pretty pathetic, as you can see here. Yep, that looks pretty silly. And you can go all the way to a 20, which is just gigantic. So I will put a 20 on just for the purpose of it, which is pretty cool. I'm going to put on... Yeah, no, they've definitely changed. So this is annoying. Please, guys, if you're watching this, give me my adjustability. This is frustrating. So you can see here, I used to be able to fine-tune this with the control button all the way through here. I now can't do that. It's only allowing me to clip. That is just really annoying. I hope they change that. Okay, so I get a 14 in there. I can get a 15 in there. Uh, I can get 16. Okay, alright, okay. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay, no. Nah. I'm get a 3 round. I don't know, because they've got little things on them. Uh, of course. The range. Yes, the range fighters are up the top. Right. I wanted to do some sort of silly design. Oh, that one doesn't have it. Oh, yeah, that'll work. We have 15 with triples. You can see where this is going. Now, I just want to point out, this is pretty silly doing like this, in a in a way, to be honest. Um, from most YouTube videos I've seen, people always just do the main guns, all the exact same, and then they have secondaries on it. I think it's okay to have... Because I find it actually works quite well if you've got a smaller main gun, because it's almost counting like a secondary. So I don't see why that's such a big issue, especially if you can fit them in, because there's no way I'm going to get three 20s fitted into this space, but I can definitely get two and then something like that. So, you know, it's, it's up to you. You don't have to listen to my terrible advice, but, you know, there you go. Okay, so see, now it's letting me, so here you go. I'm moving it around, it's clipping in. Press the control button. And now it's letting me fine tune it. But it's not working on the barbettes or the main towers like it, I, it did before. I swear, I swear it did. All right, maybe I'll you know, do lally, I don't know. That's pretty cool. Now, this is another slight issue that I hope they change. At the moment, it makes complete sense to me that, for obvious reasons, a 15 inch gun cannot share the shells of 20 and vice versa. That makes sense. Is everyone in agreement that makes sense? I think it makes sense. However, the 20 inch quad gun and the 20 inch double barrel that I've got here, or twin gun, don't share the same shells. I don't understand it either. And if you're thinking it's because, it would make sense, let's put it this way, if I had 20 inch guns here and they all had the separate ammunition. Every turret had its own ammunition storage. That would make sense. No, if I have quads on the back, they'll share the same ammunition. So, I don't know what's going on there to be honest. Uh, another way I think they could do it is if you had a uh, a four and aft, so if you had a four sort of shared area, so I don't know how, how if they'd be able to tell you somehow where your guns would start sharing ammunition, that'd be pretty cool, and an aft area, that, that I think would work actually quite well to be honest, but hey ho. Now I am going to put a 20 inch on the back of this in a quad. Now you can see the weight offset there, that's reasonably important. You need to try and get that as slim as possible. Um, the reason being it it actually affects uh, your accuracy quite some by some margin to be honest. So that's something I would really try and keep as level as possible. As you can see I'm doing an absolutely terrible job of it right now but I love these like tall Ah, oh, is that Ah, oh, I can't stick them over there though. I can stick them here. I can't stick them that sucks. Now, R and T rotates. As you can see, the guns. Uh, well, guns and objects, not towers, as far as I'm aware. 
That's kind of interesting. We'll keep that in mind. I kind of want to... Oh, for crying out loud. Really? So I can't even put one there. That's not cool. Yeah. Okay, now that's popped up. Can I get... Oh, jeez, guys. Oh, the back cap. Yeah, and I also don't understand why certain barbettes can go in certain areas either. That's another little... I don't want to say complaints, because... I don't want people... Maybe there's complete and obvious reasons, and I'm just not seeing it, but... Hmm. Do I put another... That'd be a bit overkill to put another quad, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, people? How much... Yeah, I kind of don't want to do that, I don't think. Put another 15 triple... How much is that? That's 2,000 tons. How much was it? 20? Yeah, wait a Okay. Does that make sense? They'll share ammunition that way. Did that shoot over that? If I swap them around. Probably not. It's probably not going to work how I think. And I'm going to stuff this whole thing. Oh yeah, of course. No, that's, that's stupid of me. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. I actually think that looks pretty cool. Aft offset is a little bit... Will this let me fine-tune you? Okay, apparently then it just can't shoot anything. Which is just... Terrible, so can this shimmy back? See, now it's letting me shimmy this one. Is it because it's got a turret on it? Can I shimmy this one? No, no, I can't. Oh, I've just deleted it. So, uh, well, that wasn't very clever, was it, guys? Is it that one I have? I think it was that one. Anyway, I'll leave that alone before I stuff it up even more. <laughs> now, what you can also do is you can have your guns on the side. So, instead of just having center, I could have... Although, nothing can shoot. So, that's disappointing. I'll just stick around right the edge. So, you can see you can do all sorts of wacky designs if you really wanted to. Could have more 15s, I suppose. Now I won't do that. So we've got 20s and 15s, so that works quite well. Let's go to secondaries, see what we've got here. So we've got some 8-inch guns. Now if you've also got this on, if you've got uh, auto mirror on, it means it'll place another one of these guns on the opposite side, so that's just something to keep in mind. There are some destroyers, so I kind of want a little bit of secondary, so let's put one there. Yeah, wow, that really stuffed up now. Can I put another one of these? Yeah, okay, that's neat. I can't do that. Still affecting the aft. Put them there. And then maybe I can put like a single barrel. Some five inches or something. Now that was going to perfectly fix my. That wasn't. That's pretty good there. Put some random fives there, that'll probably do. That seems pretty decent. Got some secondaries, got some mains. Nothing too crazy though. 
uh, on certain ships, especially the old ones, you can have casemates where they actually go into sort of armoured areas of the hull. Torpedo launch. Oh, you can put un ah, I can put underwater torpedo tubes on it. Nah, it's not too far away. So you've got uh, torpedo launchers as well. So battleships and destroyers can all have these. You can have above deck and some underwater ones. The underwater is the oh, actually no, it's only twenty eight tons. But if I make them. 28 times, we'll pop that on there. Yeah, I might do that. Ah, oh, there we go. So then you can start messing around with your torpedoes. I might, might have some crazy torpedo range. Uh, shells, I'm going to have super heavy, so ammunition standard, so this is just how many shells you carry, obviously. Uh, yeah, I don't need too many torpedoes, I don't think. As, so this is basically your propellant, so this has a few things you can do. Minus gun range. Increases gun range. Wow, that makes weight a fair bit more there. I'll do that one. Make them a little bit more accurate. And 400 million, this is an expensive ship. Can I even get radar on now? Nope. Holy sugar. Uh. Radar's actually very good. What you can do is you could, if I had a little ship, I could have that with a crazy uh, radar system just to spot for the battleship. So that's what a sensible person probably should do, but. Um, so yeah, basically your range finder. This is how accurate you're going to be at range or even close up, depending on how you set the system. I probably want to have. Oof. Do I want? Ah, we'll just take torpedoes. It's fine. Again, guys, not the cleverest design in the world. I'll be honest. Can I drop maximum bolt pens one? Oh, that saves heaps. Okay, I might do that. I might go mini bulkheads and we'll just start ramping up the armor. So, so you can really sort of choose how much armor you want. I'm going to have a huge main belt. That's ridiculous, but that's fine. Now, I don't think I've got too much in the aft and the main, so that should be okay. How much? How thick can I make this main armor? I really try 20 wow okay well that's pretty crazy so that should be fine i'm gonna make the main deck can i make that 10 just uh yes i can i don't know if this gun's on the four deck and mm, not sure i'm not sure how you work out if anyone knows that and you've got more experience than me how you work out where the aft and the four is unless i'm just missing something completely Not sure. Not sure. Does it tell me on here? This is just this whole area here. Maybe that's what it means. It's not the. So all my guns light on that. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Not sure. Better increase it just in case then. Alright, well, we'll try that, hey? So, gives you a base look at someone building a pretty silly ship that's probably not very good. Probably shouldn't have the torpedoes on it to be... Oh, I didn't put barbette... Well, we, this could be short if I explode, so... Basically, this is very good because it stops flash fires and different things, and... Yeah, so if I just go up in a ball of fire, that's pretty funny. In the campaign mode, probably not so much, but... In custom battle, when you can just reload, it's fine. And this video's gone a lot longer than I thought it was going to, so apologies for that, guys. <laughs> I 
Now this might show, because I've not increased radar and different things like that, like I normally do, this might show um, the importance of stealth. No, uh, no, it might do. So it's come up with their north, so let's crank around. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That was pretty sweet. Got to change the name. Remilis? Is that what that is? Dang. It's probably actually will be good showing you the importance of radars and stuff now because even though I just said that uh, stealth and that doesn't really matter, I probably won't be able to spot them and they'll start shooting at me now. But Because uh, I'm a giant ship. That's blinds back, so that's where stealth probably is quite important. Nothing's fired on me yet. Oh yeah, okay. And we go. See, and I'm shooting back at the same distance that they fired on me. So, yeah, I'm not sure about the stealth part of it. I mean, I if I had radar on that, I would have actually spotted them way before I had them. But, let's get a broadside going. Radar's definitely a good idea, guys. Just throwing it out there. Because how far is it? Yeah, way closer. So, in my last video, I shoot them from like 35 kilometers, so it's like 10, 10 kilometers closer. Now, another thing you can do is, as you can see, you can right click. So, I can go right click, shoot at him, but I can also go uh, shift right so that my torpedoes target a certain. Uh, ship and my secondaries will also target a certain ship so yeah you can do a few different things so that's pretty cool with your targeting oh man that's if I explode straight away that's going to be pretty, pretty funny like they've already hit me but anyway after I've just said about So you can see here as well, so these are my, my quad guns, they're all sharing ammunition and so are the twins, so you can see the twins here. Cool my a bit less on them. My 15s are sharing, my 8s, my fires, my torpedoes. Shoot a torpedo, I mean, I feel like a minor. No, he doesn't have torpedoes. Oh, you don't know, he did shoot torpedoes at me. Ooh, just speedy guns that are. <laughs> oh my lord. Actually, the torpedoes don't really do so much because we've got so much armor, so it's, it's okay. I am being absolutely slaughtered now, I don't know. I just... Look at all these torpedoes! Oh, well, that's a direct hit. So this is why you should really pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, that one was a bit more severe because that didn't do a lot of damage, but it's like dumb my engine. So... Yeah, that's a bit 
these are just guns. Taking a hell of a Let's just get rid of this uh, cruiser. So they stop shooting torps at me, although that probably destroys to be fair. Oh, he's getting pummeled. Probably the most extensive ship in the British fleet is about to go down, but that's fine. That's that's. Oh, we dead in the water. That's not good. He is really. Jesus. I'm not entirely sure what his uh, ploy was there. To be fair, but. Going to uh, I get my secondaries to fire at the DD. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, look at that. There you go. So now my secondary is going to shoot at him. It's probably only like one. So this is where having a bigger area, eight inch. Uh, secondaries are quite good. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just Definitely should have put veteran crew to die, then we're hitting that much to be fair, but got it. all sorts of horrible issues. I need to see if my ship explodes, that's uh, not quite entertaining. Now this is basically up here showing you where all the damage has been occurred, so great is obviously more severe. Um, yeah, engine 2 damage, engine 3 damage, rudder damage, ships on fire, ships flooding, so it gives you all sort of the mild stats. You've got your recent events, so holy oh, shit, that was a big one. Um, so you can see here we're uh, being pummeled quite a few Oh yeah. This that one's definitely got us, but it's, uh, okay, let's increase speed again. Oh, maybe I'll dodge him. Oh, look at that. I actually, if you pay attention, you can actually get past him. Look at the. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, it is. I don't think we've launched any torpedoes. I don't. I don't think being a uh, you know what my torpedo range is. Oh wow, twenty three kilometers, holy moly. Maybe I have fire tool but I'm not sure. I must have done it. I have fire tool I don't know when I did that, but anyway, I think we're about to sink, so. This is how not to design a ship, guys. I thought I'd just uh, throw that uh, out there. It's probably more to do with having terribly crude, to be honest, and not actually hitting anything, because once you uh, basically discover what that ship is, you can actually see what they are, so. They're not got the best crew in the world, but they are regulars, so they're a lot better than they are. So, yeah, so they've actually spent money on crew. So apparently the AI is meant to try and uh, balance with the ship that you've bought. So um, if we click on that, 206 million. So they've maxed out their ships to what they can to try and equal us. Because obviously they're fairly big. Tech advantage we had. Might be able to sink one battleship if we're super lucky. I will let some stuff up if we just hit the other ship that was sailing right in front of us. So 
So this is the importance of radar to increase your range and crew to actually be able to shoot itself as well. So. Cruiser and a 200 million dollar battleship for like 400, 400 million dollar battleship is nice. <laughs> I still wish they had um, different sort of weather that you can have. That would be so uh, You could have storms, nights, battles. There are stats for it. Oh I think we had to dodge that. Oh, we're down. Yeah. That was definitely going to hit us. Can we stop in time for that one? These are a good. Uh... Yeah, that's. They're both got something. I don't think they have. Easily, just keep on running. Bang. Oh. Not sure. Hang on. Oh, did that just. Uh, did that flash fire for a second there, but no. I don't think we're even going to sink that ship, are we? Sadly, we're going to go down before sinking about the ships. The French have totally destroyed us in this one. As you can see, though, we're even with the amount of torpedoes in this, with all that belt armor and everything, um, yeah, nowhere near. So, the thing is, now we're just destroying the entire ship. With, uh, I mean, there's a lot of rounds that are in this game. A lot. <laughs> now, if we were more accurate, we probably could have taken out quite a bit more, but. 85s of cruise guns. That's a good barrage. Oh, yes, there you go. Too little too late, I feel, but that's. Uh, probably like not turn, pretty much. Oh, we can only turn left. Oh, jeez. We're about to go down here. So, so. Now I hope you enjoyed my view on how not to build a battleship. I make the, the uh, title. Now I'll see it with uh, oh, some turn it in there. Oh, they must have fixed it. There you go. Can we get a broadside into it before it uh, sinks us? They're just pouring in shells. Look at the amount hitting us now. That is. I'm not even going to get my rear turrets in on this. Oh my god, that was a massive hit. Get those back ones in. No! Oh well. Now, this will be interesting if we get the uh, after battle report that they've added in. Ah, we do! That's much better! Okay, you never used to have this, so this is, um... Yeah, way better. Do we actually see stats on them, though? Oh, yeah, shoot stats. So this is how you can see like the remaining crew and stuff, so this is more important in the campaign side of things. Damage dealt 13,000. Do 
So those torpedoes actually did not a lot, to be honest. The light cruiser did absolutely nothing. The battleships... Look at that, money. That battleship did nothing. That was the one we were like about to sink to. Oh, it's damage received, sorry, I was looking at damage done. So yeah, there's there's quite a lot. Uh, yeah, that's much better. Apparently we hit someone with one of our torpedoes. Hilarious. One of our three torpedoes hit. Does it tell us who we hit? Probably not. So there you go. So there's um, quite a few things you can uh, sort of look at now, which is really cool. And you can, uh, you can flick, see the damage inflicted on everything, so... Yeah, that's actually quite nice. So, uh, this is a really good thing they've added. I'm happy they've added this in. Obviously, crew losses and ships sunk and different things as well. So, I've never even spotted half of these things by the look of it. So. But there you have it, guys. So, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. It was just a, sort of an outline. It was longer than I expected it to be. But yeah, just showing you what you can do in custom battles. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And uh, I'll do another video at some point on the campaign. Have a good one. Bye.